Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. I want to welcome y'all this morning. We're going to get started. First, I want to find the, uh, the post that I'm looking for before we get started this morning. Okay. And today we're going to be talking about conflict resolution. We're going to be talking about understanding why we're argue, arguing because a lot of times the argument happens because there's an issue but and when i'm saying arguing meaning dialogue because sometimes a dialogue can turn into something that we didn't even know it could turn into but when this dialogue starts is the dialogue happening to resolve an issue or is the dialogue happening to hurt one another's feelings. I saw this post this morning in the group page and y'all see I got products today. Um, I'll be talking about all our, our Christmas stuff that we got, but I want to stay on task, giving everybody a chance to kind of log on to get in. Um, all right. Post anonymous, please. I know you say some things out of anger, but please tell me if I'm overreacting. Me and my husband got into an argument about three days ago, and it was over something simple around the house. I was in a closet folding clothes, and we were just going back and forth arguing. And he busted out and said, you bitching at me about doing this, but what was your fat ass? While I was doing this, I didn't say anything. I just turned around and stared at him. He automatically stopped and started crying and said, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it. You know I love you. I eat your pussy. I eat your ass. I suck your toes all the time. And your weight is not a problem. I just said it out of anger. I don't know why. All right. I'm going to stop it there because everything that comes after that is just kind of irrelevant to me because I want to make sure that I stay on task about conflict resolution and hitting below the belt. All right. So that that's our topic. I'm trying to get to the video now because I want to make sure I can see what you're saying. All right. Here we go. I remember years ago um, when I met Spencer, we came from two totally different types of families. One, he's the oldest of six. I'm the only child. I was taught conflict resolution, meaning you talk your way through a disagreement. He came from a family, they just fought. Meaning, I want you to, I'm saying all of this because I want you to understand, you gotta understand what you're dealing with when, you, when you're dealing with the people in your life. Because they upbringing and their surroundings play a major role in how they are as adults, okay? And I'm laying this background because I want you to understand something. His family, Ever since I have known them for 22 years, they have always been fighters. Meaning, if they're not fighting with other people, they're fighting amongst themselves. It's always conflict. It's always arguments. It's always a disagreement. But there is never resolution. Meaning, you my brother, I'm your sister. Me and you and two, we're going to say what we got to say. We're going to say all kind of messed up stuff. I'm talking about things that probably shouldn't be said. We're going to hit below the belt. We're going to say things to hurt each other's feelings. But guess what? You still my brother. I'm still your sister. And tomorrow, I could call you and be like, let me borrow $200. As if none of the things that was said ever happened. 
you really have some families who operate like that. Whereas I come from the type of family respect is huge and if we feel disrespected in any type of way we will cut you off meaning if you ain't treating me like family then i mean we could be related by blood but i don't have to talk to you i don't have to deal with you i don't have to be in your company and you better not pick up the phone and ask me for shit that's my upbringing so what happens is you have certain people in their upbringing and they require a certain level of respect. Meaning, I know I can't cross these boundaries with this particular person because it's not going to be tolerated. If I cross the line and I hurt this person in a certain type of way, I'm not saying that, it, that they couldn't forgive me. It's just that it ain't going to fly over with them. But when you come from a family where it's just conflict, 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 they're used to things just flying over, but at the end of the day, nothing gets resolved. Okay? So, when you are in a relationship and there is an issue on the table, I want to talk about conflict resolution because I really had to teach my husband how to deal with me because certain things I, I just, I'm not going to tolerate. It's going to be a certain level of respect, even down to my children. It's a certain level of respect. We're not going to talk to them any kind of way. We're going to treat them a certain type of way because when they get out into the world, they're going to require a certain type of respect. Okay, so with this situation, it was an argument. It got heated. He hit below the belt by calling this woman fat. And she's basically saying, you know, am I overreacting? He's apologized. He's doing all of this and that the other. But I am a firm believer that we teach people how to treat us. You teach people how to treat you. You teach people what you will and won't tolerate. Now, on this group page, when you ask them for advice, you have to take things with a fine grain of salt. Because... You got to understand that a lot of women in this group page are not in relationships. They're not even in marriages, but they still want to give their input. You have some people who cannot maintain a healthy relationship, but they still want to give their input. And the thing is, the platform is designed for everybody to be able to give their input if they want to. But when you ask them for advice, you have to understand that you got to take the information with a fine grain of salt. Your husband calling you fat ain't grounds for divorce, in my opinion. Whether you pregnant, whether you are heavy, whether you were small at one point and you gained weight at another point in time, or whatever, the fat word was used. You felt some type of way about it. And then he goes back and tries to pacify the situation as in saying, I eat your pussy, I eat your ass, I suck your toes, I do all of this here. And what, what I want you to understand is when you're dealing with a man who enjoys a certain type of sex, it don't matter what your weight is, fat, not fat, skin and bones, if he nasty and freaky, then that's all the shit he gonna do anyway. It ain't got nothing to do with you being fat or not being fat. It's just that that's the way he likes to get down. When you have a, a disagreement or issue on the table, and I learned this in anger management, by the way. And see, that's the thing about me. I ain't afraid to tell you that I have been through intense counseling. I'm not afraid to tell you that I've come a long way. Because let me tell you something. See, when I met Spencer, I wasn't no fighter. I wasn't no argue. I wasn't none of this. I, I wasn't none of this. But see, when I, when I became a part of the Parker family, I had to toughen up. I had to learn how to stand my ground. Because if not, I would have got ran over. But what happens is sometimes you, you take on the attitude of the people that surround you. And sometimes that ain't always the best way to handle things. So at one point, I had to end up being court ordered to go to anger management. And in anger management, I learned certain things that I, I kept with me. When you have an issue, 
and you have a dialogue, the dialogue got to be about that issue. In other words, if you are arguing about, I'm going to use this one. If you arguing about um, not flushing the toilet or leaving the toilet seat up, if the issue is you won't put the toilet seat down or you won't flush the toilet or, or whatever it is, if that, that's what the issue is, you can't go off into his nasty, uh, <laughs> you, you can't go off into, um, oh, you cheated on me last year. And I bet you, um, you put the toilet seat down in her house. You can't go off into, don't tell me nothing about how to keep my, the, uh, you know, don't, don't tell me nothing like this, the man talking to you. Don't tell me nothing about putting no toilet seat down and flushing no toilet and nasty as your mama house is. Those type of things hitting below the belt. Because you bringing other things into an argument that is not a part of the issue. What needs to happen is, if there's an issue and you're talking, approach it with a solution. Meaning, okay, our issue is the toilet. Do I need to put a little note over the toilet as a reminder saying, please flush me and put me down? That's a solution to the problem. I'm looking, I'm reading, I'm just trying to see if anybody got questions, concerns, comments. If you have an issue and the issue is spending money or or you 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 careless with the way you spend the money for the family. If that's the argument. The solution should be we have to come up with some type of checks and balances. The solution can't be, the, the, the argument can't be, don't nobody say nothing when you going to buy all of these wigs and don't nobody say nothing when you doing this, 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 that, the other. Don't nobody say nothing when you do, 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 do. No, 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 no. If the issue is you spending money and it's not accounted for, then that's the issue. Because when I spend money and I buy a wig, it is accounted for. I can show you where the money went. But the difference is when you're spending money, you're not bringing in anything for the money that you spent. It's the difference. Suppose you're spending money on pills. When you're spending money on pills, and I may be one that likes to go out to eat and, and dine. Well, the difference is if I'm going and I'm spending money on providing food for the family, we all benefited from the money that was spent on me going out and providing food for the family, going out to buy food to eat. Whereas you spending your money on pills and you're the only person that's benefiting from that. It's not anything for the, uh, the, the total good of your family. So the thing is, you have to make sure that when you are approach, approaching an issue and you have a certain position, you have facts to back up the position. See, the thing is, a lot of times... I'm going to use myself for an example. When I have an issue, a lot of times I'm laying out the facts for the issue, right? But what happens if I'm dealing with somebody and they're not arguing from the position of, let's talk about the facts. And they talking to, and, and they arguing with, I just want to hit below the belt and shut you up. And I want to win the argument. The thing is, if the, if the, if the issue isn't resolved, then nobody won anyway. Nobody won if the issue is not resolved. You have to deal with whatever the issue is. You have to stay on topic of what y'all talking about. And you can't be going back to the past and you did this, you did this, you did this. And last year, you did this, you did this. And five years ago, you did this, you did this. No, no, no. You will never get an issue resolved like that. So I just think as adults, we have been, we have this mentality as adults because we grown, we say what we want, how we want, when we want. And we have, we've been programmed to have that mentality and that's not necessarily right. It's not necessarily the way things should go. Yes, you are an adult, but you have to say things respectfully. It's a time and a place to say it. 
And it's a way to say it. You see, when you on that, I say what I want, how I want, when I want. When you dealing with somebody that got a mentality like that, they will come to your job and act a fool. Because they don't have no boundaries. They will curse you out and say different things and hit below the belt and call you out your name because they lack boundaries. It ain't what you it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. When you're dealing with a person that say, I say what I want, when I want. See, when they feel like I say what I want, that means that they don't even feel like they have to have any type of thought about how they're saying what they're saying. You gotta deal, you gotta understand what you're dealing with. When you're dealing with people, you gotta understand, am I dealing with somebody that's a thinker? Or am I dealing with somebody that just fly off the handle? And get mad about everything. Get mad about everything and just say shit. Only you know the person that you're dealing with. We teach people how to treat us. All right. I just want to make sure that I got everything covered in that particular issue. All right. Let's talk about this group page. This group page is a platform for everybody to be able to express themselves how they want to express themselves. If you can put out the group or your friends can put out the group, please do not inbox me because I put people in place to, because one thing about it, I can't be up in here 24-7. I put people in place to monitor. And the thing is, if you don't have control over yourself and if people comment, like if I'm commenting and then another person comment and somebody else comment up under there, and you, oh, don't be coming on this here post, this, 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 this. Let me tell you something. The platform is for everybody to be able to express themselves. And the thing is, we all have an opinion, but we all have to be respectful in how we talk to each other. And when you're in here and it seems like you don't have enough control over yourself to be respectful to the next woman in here, we just remove you. And you go do that on your page. You go be disrespectful on your page and you cuss everybody out on your page. And you call everybody out their name and, and say what you want, how you want, when you want on your page. But in here, we have to have a certain level of order. When you're dealing with something that you're dealing with a lot of people, you have to have rules in place. And you have to be able to enforce the rules and have a certain amount of order. When you don't have that order, it becomes chaotic. People say certain things, they hit below the belt. They get real nasty with one another. And that's not what this is about. Because if you remember, on Monday, I made a video about self-care and sisterhood. This is sisterhood in here. And yeah, we're going to be able to get our sisters together. But it got to be done in a certain way. So if you get removed, don't, don't even bother to inbox me about it. Because I'm, in, in other words... I put people in place, and if they make a decision, I respect their decision. I, I Even I respect their decision because they're not going to just put you out because they don't like you. Because it's not personal. It's about the greater good of the group. If you toxic and everything you say is toxic and you up in here trying to elevate everybody's blood pressure, bitch, you got to go. You got to go. Okay? All right. So... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here, y'all. As you can see, our red lace see-through onesies are in stock. They do go up to a 2X. Now, these have a lot, a lot, a lot of stretch. A whole lot of stretch. With that being said, if you want to go down the size, you can. And it'll still fit you good. We have our Santa hats in. Naughty. They are reversible. Or you can put it to nice. So if you want, if you at work, you can wear it nice. When you get off on your own time, <laughs> naughty. All right. Um. So yes, we do have these in stock. Another thing, the Santa, the Mrs. Claus suit that y'all saw me wearing, I do, I restock these because the first day that I put them out, the the first day y'all saw me wearing it, I sold out of them that day. But I just restocked, and we got more in. And for my little bitty women that I always say that I'm only ordering for plus size, I have your size in stock as well. Now, let me tell you why I don't order a lot of regular size stuff because I always get stuck with it. 
Even with the Halloween costumes, all the plus size stuff is sold. Plus size stuff always sell. Stuff for the regular size people, it ends up sitting here. Gag gifts are in stock. Christmas is around the corner. This is a gag gift. These socks say, I love cops. These are socks. Yes. Confessions. Candy cane game. It is in stock. What is the naughtiest thing that you've ever done on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? This is a, a game of confessions. And it's a drinking game as well. So uh, you basically lay them out amongst a group of friends. And y'all pick them up. And you start confessing, and the person that don't want to confess got to take a shot. Ring for sex bell is in stock. Secrets, sound of secret sex position. Okay, this is good for holiday humping. All kind of sex positions. This is really great for my people who, it's 20 in here. So, you can use this the whole month of December. Meaning... Um, every day you can give your significant other a voucher and y'all hump in a different way. Okay? We got that. We got the 12 days of Christmas activity calendar. And this is 12 different sexual positions when you open this up. So when you start playing this game, it's 12 days of Christmas, which is 12 days of fucking, which is 12 days of different sexual positions. And none of them are things that you can't do. Okay? I only see one of them in here that's kind of challenging. But uh, I think if you got a chair or something, you'll still be able to get it done. All right. Our, this is just another version of the little Christmas hat. This one here actually lights up. So this headband lights up. We talked about this. Oh, under the mistletoe. This is a couple's. I don't want to say, you can play this in a group setting, especially swingers. You can play this, or if you want to take some of the dice out and just do as a couple, you can do that too. But this is great for group sex and orgies, because during this time of year, a lot of people in the swinging community love to hook up around the holidays. So if y'all are part of the swinging community, come see me. Y'all will absolutely love these dice. Okay, and the last thing is the Perfect Kitty. The reason I ordered the Perfect Kitty is because a lot of y'all have like little nieces that may be in like their 20s, and you like, you know what, what's something really cute that I can get my niece that's going to allow her to do her, but it don't necessarily just look like a vibrator. This one looks like a kitten paw, but it's an actual bullet, Okay. So, this is one of those gifts that is real cute that you get the point across. Like, girl, you ain't got to be going out there fucking him, 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 him. You can take care of yourself. Your auntie got you. See, all y'all my nieces up in here. I'm the auntie. So, if I'm giving out a gift to my nieces, this is the kind of shit that I'm going to give my nieces. Okay? So, this perfect kitty, it is in stock. This one is um, silicone. I'm trying to see if it's waterproof. Nope, it is not waterproof. Oh, uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. It says that the paw and the bullet are both waterproof. So, yes, it is waterproof. Glad to know that. Glad to know that. So, we also have a bunch of these in stock because we know these are this is going to be a, a great holiday gift to be able to give to the young ladies in your family. And I think that is about it for today. You all be blessed. And huge shout out to Michelle Knox, my Mary Kay lady. She dropped off um, a new eyeshadow palette to me um, that was in my order. And I tried it out. I thought it was really cute. I really normally don't do the contouring and all of that. But today I played around a little bit with the contouring and all of that kind of stuff. And of course, I got my uh, lip gloss that I wear all year long, golden. If you're looking for a Mary Kay consultant, go see Michelle Knox. If you're looking for a Avon consultant, Joy, my order came in yesterday. All five bottles of my Skin So Soft came in yesterday. Make sure y'all see Joy uh, Watson in the group. She is an Avon consultant. So, 
And when my husband seen it, he was like, that's a whole lot of skin so soft. You got enough to last us a long time. Yeah, because Avon got a really good sale going on right now for the holidays. Um, and I think that is about it. You all be blessed. And y'all, of course y'all know the ones that they done went up to $39.99. These lace ones is a lot more expensive for me to order than the regular cotton ones. Uh, oh, the um the butt flap onesies. I put the order in for those. They will be in hopefully next week sometime. Those are the ones that you unsnap the butt on. So I said I wasn't going to do no Christmas onesies, but I did order just a few because they had butt flaps, meaning you take the butt flap part loose and he can hit it from the back without you taking your whole onesie off. Yeah, I'm trying to see what that should be like. All right, I think that's about it. You all be blessed. I am about to wrap it up here because I have beans on at home and I got to get to my pot of beans. And y'all, you, you put this in the gift bag on a date night, this is all you gonna hear. Cause the bell say ring for six. You trying to figure out if he got it on his mind or not? Or if y'all need to be... If you feel like he ain't giving up dick enough, baby, this bell gonna get worked out. Real cute for the holidays. This is a great gift for your mom and your daddy, too. See, I, them the kind of gifts that I would give to people. So y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed.